What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing Superman and Lois Season 2 Episode 9. So the episode starts off with Allie escaping prison as she is still recovering from the fact that Anderson betrayed her in the last episode. Um, Anderson, by the way, could end up becoming Parasite. I think uh, that would be a pretty interesting twist to put on his character and the, he, there's some potential there for a pretty decent villain as well. Um, so maybe that's going to be you know, somewhat of a main villain going forward for the rest of the season. But anyways, then Superman goes to the Bizarro world trying to, you know, track down everything that's happening there. Um, and that's why he's seen as missing in this episode's trailer and, you know, the synopsis, all that stuff. Um, and we eventually find out that he's been gone for a month, which is absolutely insane. I really did not expect him be, to be gone that long. I thought it might just be like a week and then he's back. Um, but yeah, a month, that's kind of insane. So yeah, anyways, meanwhile, Jordan trains with General Lane, obviously setting up that Superboy storyline, which I'm predicting to sort of start taking root, mostly in the finale, or as I said before, toward the end of the season. Um, of course, there are those set photos that are from, I believe, toward the end of the season with Jonathan suiting up as Superboy. That's still a huge mystery, so I'm really interested to see exactly what's going to be going on with that as well. But yeah, things are still happening in Superman's absence, like planes are going down, uh, so Steel has to basically do most of the heavy lifting, or John Henry Irons, whatever you want to call him. Um, there's even a bit of a teaser in regard to him being known as Steel, which I think is pretty cool. Um, obviously, Steel is his comic book name, so that's gonna be that's also pretty cool to see on the show as well. But anyways, like I mentioned before with the uh, the Superboy stuff, Jordan hears a fire happening and is able to put it out with his freeze breath. And for a second there, it looked like he was flying for a second too. Later in the episode, we found out that it uh, was confirmed that he was flying, um, obviously showing that he's been training really hard with General Lane, which I think that is such a great storyline. Um, all of this Superboy stuff leading up to hopefully him eventually like you know being one of the more comic book accurate uh, version of Superboy, I think that's going to be so cool to see. So yeah, Lois also ends up finding out about Jordan saving people from that burning building, and it was I was actually pretty interested in that. I was interested to see what she would think of it, um, because with you know Superman's absence, she's like you know sort of the anchor to this episode, and I think that was actually this is actually still a pretty good episode. But yeah, there was also a very big ex-Kryptonite storyline in this episode as General Lane, Lois, and Jordan go to the scene of an operation trying to shut it down. Uh, but when they are suddenly greeted by someone who is using ex-Kryptonite and Lois uh, and General Lane get captured and tied up, but they are able to get Jordan's attention with his super hearing and he defeats the ex-Kryptonian in one of the coolest scenes I have ever seen in the show. The ex-Kryptonian used his heat vision on Jordan, but then Jordan slowed time down down and ended up defeating him. I felt like I was watching The Flash. The, the sound was like completely off. It was like completely muted. It was such a chilling scene. It was so cool. Um, Jordan was, he was moving so fast. I thought, you know, that was the point where he, you know, he really evolved into Superboy. But then Jonathan gets sort of like a high-pitched headache, which I thought could mean his powers are starting to come in. Uh, but then at the end, we find out that it's because of his bizarro doppelganger who has entered their world. And it appears as if he is the Superboy of that world. So yeah, it's all coming together. Those set photos that we got a couple of months back um, are really starting to reveal more about the season as, you know, the, the show keeps going on, obviously. Um, but anyways, uh, Jonathan's doppelganger ends up saying that Superman was quote-unquote too late now obviously superman isn't going to die so what i'm thinking is that he was too late in regard to you know maybe trying to get back home or stopping Allie or anderson or you know something like that but make sure you guys comment your thoughts down below on all of that stuff now guys, I have to say that this show has been amazing in its first two seasons. Even with the absence of the main character, the show is still fantastic. The storyline still progressed very, very good. Um, and next episode is looking to be one of the best episodes of the season. At least that's my opinion based on the trailer. We're going to get a look at uh, Superman inside the Bizarro world, so that should be really cool to see. But yeah, I'm really excited to see how all these storylines progress and whatnot. Um, but I'd say that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment your thoughts on this video down below, as well as your thoughts on the episode. What did you guys think of it? And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.